Well, the beginnings of the American Inns Accord is a great story. It began with uh, the Chief Justice of the United States, Warren Burger, who had been expressing concern that he had that the American bar somehow was uh, waning in civility and professionalism and in, in excellence in work product. I remember the late Chief Justice Burger's speech to a national meeting of the American Inns of Court when he said, what is imperatively needed is more emphasis on professional ethics, on manners and deportment in the courtroom and in the practice. In short, the necessity for civility in what is inherently a contentious human enterprise. He was very much concerned about the quality of American lawyers, about their, their skill or lack of, of skill, their ethics and, and lack, uh, lack of civility. Not all of them, of course, but some of them. And the, the Chief Justice was a bit of an Anglophile, and he really enjoyed the things that he saw in England and was very respectful of how the barristers were trained and thought that as a result of their training, that they must be doing something right because they're considerably more civil and professional in their dealings uh, than the American bar was at the time. When the American Inns of Court were first formed, there were a lot of discussions about, well, how can we benefit, in a sense, like the British Inns of Court and improve the level of advocacy and professionalism of members of the bar? And the secret to success was the idea of forming small individual chapters where the members would meet every month, would break bread together, would get to know each other, and would conduct meetings in a way that provided an atmosphere of, of professionalism and civility that really is unique and unmatched by any other. So in 1980, the first American Inn of Court was started in Utah. Thereafter, the Judicial Conference of the United States was tasked with trying to figure out a way to spread that throughout the United States. And by 1985, the American Inns of Court Foundation began. Justice Kennedy, uh, not too long ago, uh, shared in a public uh, setting that he thought the American Inns of Court was one of the most significant things that had ever happened to the bar. I agree with him, and so do most judges I know. The American Inn of Court experience is one of the great experiences of my life. I am greatly honored at the role I've been able to play and what has been accomplished. <laughs>